Hi, welcome to Midwest Magic Cleaning. My name is Hot Dog Water Popsicles, and today I'm going to be doing an outside cleaning. And the reason is because, one, I didn't have a hoarder house to clean this weekend, which is good news. It means that there's people who are taking care of their own things, but kind of bad news in that the people who aren't taking care of their stuff are too embarrassed to reach out. But my oldest son needed some help. His name is Jason, and he's very much like me in that he only asks for help whenever he really, really needs it and his yard is out of control and his weed eater is broken down he just has a push mower and he's got a lot of uh, saplings that are growing up around the foundation so I went ahead and packed up my gear and my tools and came over to help him get this yard back into shape plus people have been asking me to do like a lawn care video for a while so why not There's a lot of work that needs to be done with the house. For instance, you can tell the deck is in pretty rough shape. I need to scrape that down and repaint it. Plant some, maybe get some planters uh, so that he can grow some plants outside but not have to worry about pulling weeds. We can put those in large planters where I'm weed eating right now. And then when the weeds grow up, you just weed eat around them. Then maybe place some rocks and stuff around there for decoration so that it controls the weeds plus looks prettier. But I think we're going to do that at some point this summer. And when we do, we'll make a video out of it we'll get into some decorating and planting it turns out i'm pretty good with plants i didn't know it until years ago and then whenever i dove into keeping plants both aquatic plants for like aquariums and regular land plants for planters and terrariums and whatnot it turns out i had a bit of a green thumb so i want to help jason with that We're also going to be getting a roll-off dumpster for his garage. So this used to be his mom's house, and she w uh, built a new house with her husband. It's a beautiful house, but it left this one open, and rather than sell this, they went ahead and, and gave the house to Jason, or he's buying the house technically. But So there's a bunch of stuff in the garage that has been there forever, and he hasn't had a means to get rid of it, and the garage is in pretty bad shape. So we're going to get a roll-off dumpster and get rid of all the stuff that has gone bad from weather fix his garage door clear that out maybe make him a little recording studio or an office in there because they don't really use the garage for anything right now anyway and Jason is wanting to start a YouTube channel so I'm teaching him how to do that how to edit videos and sound and not be a gigantic bag of filth which he is he's filth but when he gets his YouTube channel up and running I will uh, give you all links to that so you can those of you who are on team Jason can watch him filth up the internet with his filthness his Lord filthness. And for those of you who regularly watch my channel, uh, Daniel is also going to start a YouTube channel. He is uh, like a kind of a modern day hippie and he really loves the outdoors and he does a lot of outdoors cleanup and he's building like a, a living quarters on his land. We already have one video done of him doing a pretty massive outdoors cleanup, but we need to get his YouTube channel started. And then whenever he gets ready to go, I will give a link to his YouTube channel as well. He's got one of the most infectious laughs I've ever heard. Uh, I think you'll really like him. You'll like Jason's too. I just bag on him a lot on my channel <laughs> because he deserves it because he's filth. Absolute filth. Now, while I'm doing this, Jason is push mowing the lawn. I would have brought over my rider, but I live across town and it would have taken me forever to get there and we don't have a trailer yet we will but whenever we do I'm gonna start bringing my rider over for him or let him just grab the trailer because his yard is kind of big or if we get big enough on YouTube I'll just buy him a rider
You can see in the background over here, the foliage has taken over his back porch and the back porch needs completely rebuilt. At one point, I actually stand on one of the stairs and fall through it. The stair gets completely knocked off. So I want to take that apart and rebuild his back porch. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to do it, but it's, it's not a complex project. But yeah, the trees and vines and everything have completely taken over that whole area. So I spend a little bit of time cutting down all the saplings and stuff. So like right now, I'm just weed eating, but here in a bit, I'll break out my my cutters and cut down all these saplings and it makes a massive world of difference. Speaking of Jason, we do have Jason t-shirts. This is big old giant head with the word filth underneath it on one. And then for the people who get mad that I call him filth, there's a team Jason shirt with hearts around it. And then we actually just put up two brand new shirts yesterday. Uh, we've got a that's how I roll sun shirt. And I keep saying shirts, but it's, it's merchandise. You can put those things on coffee mugs and stickers and all kinds of stuff. And then we also have our spin kick shirt of a little guy spin kicking a, a stove. I call it spin kicking. It's actually a jump kick that he's doing, but we're going to we're gonna call it a spin kick because that's how I roll, son. It calls me spin kick saying Johnny back in Milwaukee. They're like, yo, man, is that spin kick saying Johnny? They're like, I don't know. Say jump kick and see if he corrects you. This is a giant burn pit that's been here for a couple years. I'm gonna, I just bought a new chainsaw. So at some point in the near future, we're gonna cut all that up and turn it into fire pit wood. And then just over the course of like a month, burn it all down. I could just throw a match in there right now, but there are actually a couple power lines. And that pile is so big that I don't, I don't want a chance at getting too hot and like literally melting the side of the garage, which it could do. A quick note to members, I've got a video coming up this Wednesday of me doing just an absolute massive amount of chores on my quote unquote day off. And there's a lot of footage of me on my actual roof of my house. Uh, for those that don't know, I've got a members only section where I give extra videos every Wednesday. They're, they're not really like what you're seeing here. They're not really cleaning videos. Sometimes they are, but they're me talking about everyday life, giving updates of the business, updates on Jason and Daniel, talking about new things that are going on in my life, kind of just like a vlog. And then members also get first access to all the brand new t-shirt designs because the first two days that they run, they are on sale for a pretty cheaper than they normally are. But if you're interested in the members only thing, um, I think we've got four or 500 members right now. It's quite a few of them. That's the way that people directly support me monetarily because that's since that's a paid subscription, I use all that money to support everything from chemicals to gas to transportation to new vacuums and then buying uh, some needed supplies for the people that I do the free cleanings for. Just look for the join button. If you can't find it, you're probably going to have to Google it because there's an Apple slash YouTube thing that sometimes prevents the join button from showing up for Apple users. You can see in the background here how bad that garage is. The whole thing is like that. It's like a one or a one and a half car garage and the whole thing is just filled with old furniture. So yeah, we're going to get a roll off dumpster and I'll film that of us completely clearing that out and transforming that into something that's useful. I'll probably end up having to do some roof work while we're at it.
Now along the sides of the house there is a massive amount of honeysuckles and I'm actually going to leave a lot of those because they smell really good. They're really good pollinators. They climb on their own and the only thing you have to worry about with honeysuckles is just giving them a haircut because they grow extremely fast. All the rest of the stuff along the sides I'm going to get rid of except for one big clump of plants that are supposed to be there. They give these really pretty purple plants mixed with the uh, white and the yellow of the honeysuckles. It'll look really cool when they all bloom. wrap up the weed eating in this ditch and then I'm going to break out the uh, clippers and get rid of all these massive saplings that are around the whole house. There's so many of them. That plays hell on your shoulder, trying to use that weed eater at an angle like the, oh my God, filth. Abs just a bag of filth. A gyrating, pulsating, huge bag of filth is what he is.
So I've talked to my wife and I think we're going to go ahead very soon and start doing some traveling for houses, the free cleanups for like hoarder houses and whatnot. I've got a lot of people from Wisconsin and a lot of people from Michigan who've been asking. And I think Michigan may be our first stop. I'll let you guys know whenever I do it because I don't know when we're going to be able to. But we have friends who live in Michigan and we've been meaning to come up and visit with them forever. So I think we're going to do a two for one, come up and visit it for them on a long weekend and then over the course of that weekend I'll spend a couple days cleaning up some houses for people who really need it and then we can do the same thing with Wisconsin we've got family who lives in Minneapolis Minnesota and Wisconsin is right along the way for us because we live in south central Illinois Uh, but make like a pit stop for a weekend in Wisconsin knock out a couple houses and then continue on to visit with family but whenever we do that I'll give an announcement that way the people who live in those areas can contact me and we can set something up. clear out the saplings from this culvert post 10 would be very proud that i did that if you don't know who post 10 is that's that's your loss son you need to find out who post 10 is and you need to enjoy him also tell him that midwest magic cleaning said hi i've been trying to get him to respond to me forever (laughs) i just i want to meet him so bad Now this tree had a little bit of poison ivy on it, but I typically don't get poison ivy. If I do, it's usually pretty mild, so I went ahead and clipped it and pulled all that stuff off. I left a few strands of it higher up in the tree, and that was just out of sheer laziness. For anybody who's new to the channel, we are not a lawn channel. We normally clean up hoarder houses for free, and we uh, do regular houses for free all the time. For people who need the help and can't find anybody, or people, more importantly, who can't afford the help, I've done $20,000 hoarder cleanups without charging anybody a dime. And then the way I make my money back on that for my time and chemicals and all that is through this channel but i've cleaned up some pretty shocking places someday i may start a lawn channel but it would be separate from this one i've talked to jason and daniel about it it may be something we consider in the future also if you're new to the channel i could use as many subscriptions as i can get we got our silver plaque earlier this year and now we're heading toward the gold one Uh, the silver one happens at a hundred thousand subscribers and then the gold one happens at a million subscribers. That felt like totally out of reach for the longest time, but people keep subscribing so much that now I actually have some hope and excitement that we may actually be able to reach that goal.
Also, we're coming up on the part where I fall through the step. Thunk. I don't even care. I just keep cutting, son. That's all me. That's how I roll. Call me old Continue Cutting Vines Johnny back in El Paso. Yo, man, is that old Continue Cutting Vines Johnny? I don't know. Let's try to interrupt him and see how he reacts. I really need to cut that stump off at the ground and I did buy a new chainsaw that was in my car at the time but it's also still in the box and I didn't want to like try to put everything together and get it started for like one stump. But in another video coming up pretty soon I am going to be doing that because I've got an ash tree that's dead in my own yard and you'll see me cutting that down and I'm pretty sure that the focus of most people are going to be waiting for me to do a big TikTok fail where that tree just falls backwards straight into my house but it's got to come down. I'm not paying somebody to do it when it's already leaning the right direction. So anyway, you'll see that soon. Yeah, and that was Jason throwing a large handful of branches right in my head, right in my face. See, you think he's you think he's innocent and he's not. He's evil. He's an evil filth is what he is. He is one exactly one filth. Now this is a combination of trees and honeysuckle and there's like this old iron rack that it's all winding around. We considered leaving it there but then we realized that his gas meter is right on the side of the house and it's all this stuff is covering that. So we decided to go ahead and take it out and then we moved the iron rack to the right of this because we want the honeysuckle to continue growing along the side of the house and that gives it a rack to climb up.
Yeah, that's the one big downside to honeysuckle is that they're easy to grow because they're crazy, son, but they're a little easy to grow. Like they get on everything. They'll wrap themselves around absolutely everything and choke out all the other plants. So if you grow honeysuckle, you really need to really love honeysuckle because they'll pretty much kill off everything else that's around it and they'll take over like your like here in this case. His meter was absolutely engulfed by them. This is actually an area that he really needs to keep clear. I'm thinking about just spraying that down with actual herbicide, throwing some rocks around it so nothing else can grow there and like a weed barrier. Still filth. Well, that about wraps this one up. Members, I will see you on Wednesday, and everybody else, I'll see you on Saturday. Later.